extended highlights of the vital fourth One Day International in Kanpur. Looking for two here. Comfortable two. Well, it's the first time the ball's really been out of the outfield, so it'll be interesting to see whether there's still some moisture out there. It'll be easy to score runs against this new ball, the new ball that's hard and the quicker ball is bowling. Looks like it's uh, survived its first adventure into the outfield, so that's good news for both teams. Hesitation and uh, Marcus Scothic would have been out. Wouldn't have been any need for the third umpire there. Yes, no interlude from England's openers. Scothic would have been on his way back. Out by a distance. Shot, and it's through. That field isn't going to be that quick, but I think there's enough on that. It is kept going well. First boundary of the England innings. Just in the left hand, loose slot outside off stump, a ball of full length. Plays a good shot square of the wicket. It is a long chase. We'll soon find out whether this outfield is quick, and that's raced along quickly enough. Very, very damp this morning. That's the danger. As soon as you drift into that leg side, zone it's easy pickings just got to get the bat on it that's exactly what Wright's done well Agarka got a long stare then from Srinath who's up in that leg slip position yeah as soon as you drift onto leg stump there just a tuck away bread and butter shot just roll the ball down to fine leg no fine leg deep back with square in position Edged and gone fine, that's four more. Expensive over, good one from England's point of view, 12 from it. It's 21 without loss. Edged, dropped. Well, things going England's way at the moment. A little bit of luck there. Jay Ratrat not able to hang on to it. Well, flirting away. Through the offside, it's Srinath again, outside off stump. looking to glide and takes the top edge goes between wicket keeper and slip it's the wicket keeper who goes for it goes late should have got it oh that should stick oh. it's something that Triscothic does early in his innings he, he, he's almost obsessed with getting the ball down to third man there Oh, keeper's slow. Boy, oh, slow there going for that. Do you think he perhaps didn't pick it up straight away? I, I just wonder if he's thought he's got a mental picture that he's got a first slip. That slips, it's not mine. Then he just readjusts and think, oh no, we haven't got one. They have now. This one's through. At least a couple here. It's outfield remarkably quick considering. Should make a comfortable three. A little bit of hesitation again there, but always a comfortable three. Three to Triscothic. The square of the wicket on the offside. No real pace in the shot, but it's raced away on this outfield. Short, pulled away. Four runs. To scoff it into that very quickly. Well, it worked previously for a Garka. The shake of the head there and a word, and that word would be it's slow. It's not the length with a new ball. He's got plenty of time. He's hit that way in front of square. Good shot again, four more. 
Archie Scothic figuring the next ball would be kept up to him. Gave himself a bit of room. Got it away. Four more. Good point. I think the ball is short of a length. Somebody would have said to Agarka, you've got a ball fuller. And he's on his way to Scothic. Gives himself room outside leg stump. Pumps the ball through extra cover. Another boundary. Just suffering here. Agarka. And a bit of luck here. Well, that's where it goes. The signal's leg buys. It's interesting. Not quite sure how you get it off your leg. That side of the keeper. Sure, he's hit this. Let's have a look. Inside edge. Bottom inside edge. Missed out on four runs. England's plan B now, Arbajan into the attack, L less pace, much less pace, but spin. Swung away and hit well, that's going to be four. Now I think this, with him bowling over the wicket, anything that's pitching around leg stump really is a free hit with that leg side field. Well, you're looking at four fielders. There's a slip and a leg slip. There's a deep backward square leg. That's it strongly, very strongly, just behind square on the leg side. Another boundary. Six boundaries in this innings, 47 without loss. Change in the field. Gooley deciding that he'd take one of the men out of the offside and bring him in square leg, just in front of square leg there, which I think is probably a good move. So we'll go that way. We'll reverse lap in for four more. Now that's given the, the captain something to think about. Good contest this. Reverse lap, premeditated. Changing the field, offside fielder to the leg side, so Knight goes the other way. 51 in the eighth over for England. Uh, gonna go all the way I think it's off the pad should just about get to the van it gets to the boundary it buys but uh, always outside the leg stump he's outside but it's a good shout a good delivery too a fuller delivery premeditated he's just outside when it strikes him on the back leg he's outside the line of off stump Another boundary. Oh! Well, Nick Knight slipped. Despairing lunge out back with the bat, the uh, bat rather, and uh, well, it was all going on there. Well, it's a rocking start to this game. England 55 without loss, seven boundaries already. Run rate of seven and over. Watch Nick Knight here. Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Doesn't know. Slips. Can he get back? It's nicely placed. Pick up at least two here as well. There could be more now. This field. That's a run. Three. Danny, the man that uh, Miss Fields sliced away. England, another good over, 58 without loss. That well, one's straight, but it's going straight through extra cover for four. Raka has got problems, so is India. Well, what a difference two or three days make. Agarka was the star of the show with four wickets in the game at Chennai. Not so in this game. Both Truscothic and Knight have taken a liking to him on this slow, placid pitch. Very proactive, both England openers in coming down the pitch. He was taking that stride down the pitch, coming to meet the bowler. Could be two here, run hard. Settle for just the one. Leg by signalled. 
yeah, and a feel for LBW from Agarka. But again, just looking to get the ball down to fine leg with a leg slip in position. It's always a magnet. If you're anywhere offline down the leg side, the ball can race away down to fine leg. Skyline's in. Look at Nick Knight trying to get the ball down to fine leg. Another boundary. Reverse sweep again by Nick Knight. He's looking to sweep the fast bowlers as well as the spinners. What's been interesting is uh, the reverse sweep, which he's tried here straight away against Daniel Kumble. Got himself in position again. Although it was a top edge, he got so much bat on it. And for instance, the previous one against Harbison hit it beautifully. He hits that reverse sweep more cleanly than most. So often you see the ball just skew away from the reverse sweep. He actually has a real good hit at it. And this is one pitch where you can play the sweep shot with relative ease. There's hardly any bounce in the pitch. It doesn't spin much. Just like that. Just got to pick the length early and there isn't too much risk to be taken. It's always been a pitch like this where there's been nothing for the faster bowlers, not much for the spinners, unless they're bowling a bit later in the day or later in a match. To start with, bowlers are always under pressure on, here at Kanpo. But a good performance again by Srinath, 5 overs, 12 runs. But Ajit Agarkar, well, after such a good performance in the last match, he's got some stick today, 8 runs and over for him. Harbhajan Singh had just the 1 over for 11. And Kumle put under pressure straight away. And leg slip comes into position. And gives him the charge, it's up in the air, there's a fielder getting under it. And it's Dinesh Mongia, and he's made it a habit to take those high catches in the early part of the Indian innings. It's a bit of an opportunity provided by Chris Kothik. Kumble with the wicket taker. Well, Dinesh Mongia has very safe hands on the evidence of these last few matches. Too much height for Chris Kothik. Mongia judged it beautifully, gets himself in a good position. Takes the catch cleanly and safely. It's first wicket down. Just got the gun for 18. It's 71 for one. Andrew Flintoff is the number three batsman. Interesting. <laughs> Marcus Descotic, the first man to go for England. I think he just had to wait for that a little bit longer than he wanted to. And was too far into the shot, just by a fraction of a second and remember this pitch is uh, slower I think than any we've seen in the series so far so if you're going to go over the top like that just going to delay the shot just a fraction he didn't get to it that was the problem pitch just a little bit shorter than he wanted he went through with the shot but couldn't get the power into it or the distance into it the good shot and straight enough The first boundary for Andrew Flintoff, and he'll feel good about it because it sounded nice off the bat. It was a beautiful shot. Full blade, presented absolutely dead straight to the ball, slightly on the up. As you say, that's a real confidence booster type shot, but what he really does need is time at the crease. It might well be his day, who knows? Full face of the bat seen on that occasion. Placed it in the gap. He'll keep strike. England 80 for one. Good running. The Indian bowlers under fair bit of pressure, and it was all because of some very adventurous batting by Nick Knight and to an extent Trescottic. Except Srinath, all of them really struggling to keep the batsman quiet. Well, at least can cover a few more of the gaps here. When uh, Habazin bowled that first over, with just two men allowed out of the circles, it was great batting by McKnight. I mean, give him full credit for that. He found the gaps, he hit the ball cleanly. 
tinkered really with the field placings. Now it's all a bit different. Uh, it's also a bit different for Flintoff too. Uh, more men trying to save the one. A ring of four on the offside. Oh! Again, hitting through the line. Got to be careful doing that against Harbhajan Singh. Can bowl that slow top spinner. That might just get Flintoff in trouble if he looks to do that more often. Yeah, he wanted to hit that through mid on, I think. That's where the man's in the deep. He's looking to push it down to the long on for one. Playing with turn that wasn't there. That was the plan. As you would expect, an absolutely defensive field to the left hander. Three men on the offside, saving the single. He's going to push for the second. Virendra Sehwag is the man. And in the end, he's a couple of runs. Well, the calling was good there from Knight. And the response good from Flintoff, too, because he saw it was quite a long way wide of Sehwag. He's judged it well, he's placed it well, too. A lot of ground for the fielder to make up. And uh, the early call gave Flintoff all the instruction he needed. Got some bat on it by the looks of things. It's gone quickly. The leg side away from Srinath. It was bad. The line wasn't great and paid the penalty, Kumble. Well, Anil Kumble has only got those three men on the leg side. Srinath was around a deep square leg. Or had to come around a fine leg. He's actually quite fine. Just two men saving one. The one man out in the deep, Srinath's over there. The rest of them, of course, on the offside. He's gone over the top. And he's got the distance as well. Well, that was what uh, Marcus Triscothic had in mind when he tried to get it up and over. It brings up the 100 for England in double quick time. Just in the 15th, that was a great shot. Full swing of the bat, full follow through. It's gone a long way. Harbhajan Singh, the man. England moving well, 101 for one. You know he's an aggressive man. Seen him uh, in his follow through after his ball, a quick ball, and this time a bit of a chatter with Anil Kumble. All nice to watch, but I think uh, he's in danger of crossing the line. Yeah, Andrew Flintoff. On the record, uh, Dennis Lindsay had a bit of a word with some of the English players for their behaviour in the last match. No penalties imposed, which was I think the right thing to do. Doesn't make sense of making an issue of trivial matters uh, in the end, made comfortably, and that's 50 for Nick Knight. The runs have been difficult to come by for him on this trip, and this 50 will give him a lot of confidence. And it's come at the right time, and his 18th 50 in one day international. Very well played, too. Very good for him. It's come just at the right time for him. Seems like it's the right surface for Andrew Flintoff again. It's straight through the line. He has the power. Also one of the better starts that Andrew Flintoff has got. The two men struggling for runs on this trip, building up a good partnership for England. Good average there. 42, 18, 50, 300. Just about 70 matches. Oh, 
Paul Badye. Call wide by umpire Shivram. And this is how he got his 18 50 in one day international. Good response from Andrew Flintoff. Just looked at his partner who was willing to take that run. Bring up the 50 for Nick Knight. Side screen problems. Not really problem, he just wants it moved behind the bowler's arm. Harbhajan Singh coming round the wicket. Can't get a leg before decision bowling round the wicket. And the massive angle that you create early. Most balls will run down the leg side when you have that kind of an angle coming in. It was a very good drifter. Been a quick partnership between two men who've been struggling for runs. We haven't had great scores for the second wicket here in Kanpur. Prabhakar and Kamli putting on 45, which is the highest. The second wicket partnership. We'll have to wait for the umpire signal on this one. Good effort there. Dinesh Mongi again. Three runs. And no signal for the umpire. Came of the bat, England 108 for one. Gone over the top again. This time it's flatter and straight to the fielder. Sachin Tendulkar is the man at long off. And Andrew Flintoff has perished in the deep. Kumble picks up his second wicket. Well, Andrew Flintoff has given license today to try and do something about the scoring rate. I keep it going. He hit one huge six, but didn't get hold of this one in quite the same fashion. Tendorka judged it well. Two good catches in the deep, one from him, one from Monga. England two down for 111. England 112 for two. They're looking for two. Ajit Agarkar, the man in the deep. Yeah, they just had to wait long enough to make sure the ball got past Kaif, who's the man just there at uh, square leg. Again, the sweep shot. Well, it works. Nick Knight has used it very well today. It is one of those shots that, if you play it badly, of course, there's a huge risk attached to it. It needs to be played well to be effective. A number of players have managed it. Graham Gooch is one. Remember that semi-final at uh, Bombay many years ago now against India where he just swept everything and uh, won the game single-handedly almost. Nick Knight has profited today by it. And what was incredible about that innings of Graham Gooch was the sweep shots were played against left-arm spinners for a right-hander that's against the spin. And he hit them hard. Completely unsettled the two left-arm spinners, Shastri and Maninder Singh. And before they could recover, the man was on 100. And England on a roll. 
You can see Nick Knight also behind square on either side, offside as well as the next side, a few maybe reverse sweeps in that offside behind square, 16 runs, three boundaries in that area. The 32 runs scored behind square on either side. That's a sign of a batsman who likes adventure. Well, it's actually the reason Nick Knight has maintained his reputation as a one-day player, because although his test match record has suffered slightly and his part as an England test player seems to be over, maybe not completely, who knows, but he's accepted as a one-day player. It's because he's prepared to take these risks, and he's done it all the way through. When it works, it's fantastic. He gets his hundreds. He got three of those. This is 18th 50. And when he gets runs, he gets them quickly. That's why he's there. That's the only shot he's attempted. Nasir Sens has come to the middle. I think something that uh, he's made up his mind to do today. It's a pitch that promotes this kind of a shot. Well, he's just got to be careful about the line because he's not timing it yet. Hardly making contact. Straight bat gets him a run. Kumle furious. That the throw was not at his end. 19 overs gone, England 121 for two. A good run rate for England. No let up for the Indian bowlers. Srinath and Kumle, the pick of the Indian bowlers. Harbhajan Singh will continue. He's played it fine. Anil Kumle, the fielder. Just stick to one. Nasir Hussain. Good time to have a change in the commentary box. David Lloyd is being joined by Maninder Singh. Thank you, Sanjay. That's a great start from England. English captain Nasir Hussain winning the toss, electing to okay. bat first. 122 for two, he would be very happy with that. Projected rate of 241 at six and over from now on in. And two wickets down. They've played some shots, they really have. 39 over game two hours ten minutes lost this morning but if they go at six and over from now on in it gets 240 well it's in the sights tell you what that will be a great score on this track the wicket looks very dry on top that's an outside edge did he open the face of the bat it's running towards the third man boundary well whichever way they've come it's four runs for England definitely played shot from a saying he will play with an open face Likes to get the ball into the offside and fine behind square. Opens the face there and runs the ball down to third man. That's sensible cricket from the English captain. The English openers were very aggressive in the beginning. Sweeped it, timed it well, four runs. Nick Knight has batted beautifully. He's used his aggression very well. Well, he's had a quiet series, Nick Knight. But this has been his day. Came out in a very positive manner. Played lots of shots like this, square on the leg side. Premeditated sweeps. He's given himself room as well. Looked to come down the pitch to the quicker bowlers, Agarka and Srinath. And then when the spinners have come on, he's looked to play the sweep. Quiet time up to this game for Nick Knight. Yes, but he's really exploded in this game, Nick Knight. Because of his explosion, this situation, England 131 for two after 20.3 overs. And I tell our viewers that this is a 39 over match. It has been reduced because the game started a little late. Reverse sweep this time. No fielder there, the outfield pretty quick here. Another boundary for Nick Knight. What a lovely exhibition of batting that. First sweep him the right way on the onside and this time reverse sweeping him. Plays them both so well. Gets a good stride in, reverses his hands. It's a good shot against Cumbly. Gets on you quickly, does Cumbly. Be dangerous. 
that's a direct hit. And to me, that's gone. Crowdy ropes, it's Nick Knight, head down. What will be going through his mind? Have I got in or am I just out? Gut feeling out, direct hit. Watches the ball, Knight, he's in. He's in, he's in by a long way. That's very good running between the because the understanding very good. They just looked into each other's eyes and the run was completed. You, you need to be confident to do that, don't you? You need to have confidence in your partner. You can just look at his eyes. Yeah, there's one there. I knew immediately Nasser is saying that Nick Knight would be running, backing up well at the non-striking end. Brings Knight back on strike. Those are the buildings the high-rise buildings, the way England has scored this 141 runs. I'm sure, David, you'll see a lot of those kind of buildings in Mumbai. And this is one of the buildings outside the stadium where a lot of people are watching cricket from because there's no place in the ground. A ticket, who needs a ticket? <laughs> Just get yourself a place anywhere. Anywhere in Kampur will do. There's some high-rises around. It's a terrific sight. Get yourself on top of the roof, on top of the house if you can. You've got a great view. Not me though. I'm happy here. I wouldn't be up there. Tell you what, David, if I was sitting there, I would have just slipped down. Oh, Gone for Saurav Ganguly this time. Didn't time it too well. Two. So that's 144 for two England after 23 overs. That reverse sweep again in there and he's gone. That's the third wicket gone for England. Slower delivery ball from Harbhajan Singh and this time Nick Knight couldn't time it too well. Just one too many for Nick Knight. And that's it, the slower delivery, take the pace off, you'll get a little grip off the surface, the ball will bounce a fraction more. Knight just goes through that reverse sweep again, just one too many, Anil Cumbly takes a comfortable catch, the young off spinner Arbajan has struck. England have lost the third wicket, it's the wicket of Nick Knight, 144. Short ball cut away. Opens his account with that one. He'll definitely get two for that. That's not very clever bowling from Harbhajan Singh, giving him room straight away. 74 from 82 deliveries for Nick Knight. We've seen plenty of that reverse sweep. Finds Anil Cumbly this time. That's very well played. Played it with loose hands. That's good thinking from Graham Thorpe, giving it to his partner oh, no. Nasser Hussain, who's been there for some time now. Yeah, we've seen plenty of those, but he just didn't get the ball down on the ground. Just a little bit of extra bounce for Arbajan. Slow delivery. That's been so far been a good over for India just the three runs of it and a wicket 147 for three after 24 Graham Thorpe certainly adds strength to the English lineup open the face of the bat and this is exactly what he's going to do here in the beginning of his innings try and give the strike to his captain Nasser Hussain He'll nudge the ball on the offside and leg side, giving singles, looking for singles, looking to keep the board ticking. Vaughan, Collingwood, Holly Oak, Snape, Goff and Hoggard still to come. 15 overs left in this innings, 39 overs per side. Nick Knight, 74. Good cricket, played it with loose hands towards third man. Nasir Hussain now will have to do the amends. The mistake that Nick Knight made. Reverse sweep. Simple catch. His reaction. Should have kept it down. 
tell you what Nasir must have felt that he wanted to give him a pat on his butt there. He's batting so well. Played a loose stroke after taking control of the game, Nick Knight. That's good bowling, that could be dangerous. There is an appeal there. No effect on, on Empire Shivaram. Ganguly into his second over. And Thorpe will look to play square of the wicket. It'll be a feature of his play. So you'll look for these little deft touches offside, leg side. Well, he's run it very hard. And with the single, England reached the 150. It's a good effort too, 150 for three. Push and go, push and go, hard running from Thorpe. The fielder was standing on the 30-yard line, Anil Kumble. Wanted to hike that one over mid-wicket. Now, this is one problem, uh, David, I've seen with Nasir Hussain. Sometimes he premeditates a stroke and makes a mistake. We saw him do that in the previous game when he wanted to pull Sanjay Banga. And if he wants to play a lofted stroke, he could really play it straight over the bowler's head. He's gone for him again, and he's gone! That's very well bowled from Harbhajan Singh. Again, a little slower in the air. Getting late onto that stroke was Nasser Hussain, and he's paid the price. He's walking back to the pavilion. Terrific comeback from Arbajan. He's kept his nerve, went for plenty in his first over, but he's bowled slower, he's bowled accurately, and he gets reward. England's captain pushes the ball back to him. Good catch from him, 151 for four. One run, two runs of the over and a wicket for Harbhajan Singh. 152 for four after 26. The run rate now 5.85. It was around 6.85, around 10 overs ago. And as the ball is getting older, it's keeping lower. And as the wickets are falling, the run rate is coming down. Now that's very good bowling. Bit of flight, a bit of loop, an inviting delivery to drive. And the same pushes it straight back to the bowler. Yes, David, if you have a look at it, the ball has gone above the eye level of Nasser Hussain. That's a slow delivery, and that could be dangerous. No, it didn't reach the fielder at mid-wicket. That's very good bowling from Saurav Ganguly. A good attempt there from Dinesh Mongia. Well, that'll be a major ball throughout this game. The slower ball that'll just grip on this surface. Slow delivery, it doesn't get there. Certainly deceives Michael Vaughan. Just out of reach. Tell you what, David, where this ball has stopped and come, Saurav Ganguly now will be thinking to get either Sachin Tendulkar or Virendra Sehwag from the pep, from the media end because Harbhajan's bold is eight. Not. Trademark Thorpe, just a push into the leg side. Pushing to the offside just for singles. Tendulkar's a bowler. Tendulkar's a bowler now. Just that ball of deception. Absolutely agree with you, David. I would throw the ball up to Sachin Tendulkar here because he can really turn the ball on any kind of surface. And this surface, I really feel that a spinner can spin the ball. It gives the ball a little bit of air. We've seen Harbhajan Singh doing that. We saw the slow one turn from Saurav Ganguly. He's pulled it, another one. But this time played very well between the gaps. Between the gap, that's very good running between the wickets. I think that'll be a feature of England's play now to push the ones, hard run, turn ones into twos and then find the gaps for twos. It should be difficult to find the boundary now with the ball getting older and it's much softer and the pitch is slow 
boundary well defended. Yes, and also the batsmen have just come in. 53 singles in this 156. That's yeah. gone! What a wicket for India! And that was a poor shot from Juan. 156 for 5 after 27. Well, England scored quickly for the first 20 overs, but India coming back strong here. England dressing room sombre. Michael Vaughan hits across the line. Sorav Ganguly is straight. Too straight for Vaughan. Vaughan's gone. England 156 for five. Well, Colin Wood is at the crease now. So England have still got batsmen to come. Seawag comes into the attack. Good move. Could have been Tendulkar. But a slow bowler on a slow pitch. I would have still liked to see Sachin Tendulkar. Now, this is the shock I was talking about. The ball keeping low. In no position to play that stroke. He's just come on to the crease. England have just lost their fourth wicket. This was the time to steady the innings. What a poor stroke. Just when I was thinking that this kid is maturing on the store, he plays a poor stroke in a situation like that. He knew it too, didn't he? You just tell the expression on a batsman's face as he leaves. What a shocker. He squeezed it well between the gap. There's no fielder on the fence. They head outfield pretty quick. And a welcome boundary there. Come on, come on, Vido! Well, nobody moved on the offside. The field is in. It'll be out now. Collingwood through the offside, through extra cover. Fields changed immediately, just four inside the circle. There were six for that delivery. That's sensible cricket. He had the boundary of the previous delivery. Plays it with loose hands, takes a single and gives the responsibility to his partner. Always nice to come in and find the boundary. Collingwood stroking the ball through the extra cover region. That's very good bowling, that one turned there. That is why Virinder Sehwag has been brought on, because the ball is turning. As the ball has gone older, it is turning. Oh, it's a horror show. Michael Vaughan, balled off stump. That's a nightmare, I tell you what. Played with the spin, the first run has been run very hard, but Nagarjan Singh very quick on the ball. Just a single for England. Well, it should be good cricket, this. 39 over game, India coming back strongly. England pushing hard, running hard between the wickets. The salute. This is the beauty of a one-day game. That has been played very fine. The first run uh, has been run very hard. They'll get two. After 28, 166 for five, England. shot from Collingwood he's worked this out Ganguly just short of a length only medium pace but just short of the length enticing England to hit across the line and this is the second one he's bowled straight enough brought himself on into the attack he dismissed Michael Vaughan and now Paul Collingwood back of a length a little nick on off stump out of the ground we've seen that salute before England now 166 for six 24 years old, Ben Holyoke has come into bat. As Colin Wood played a loose stroke. Opens the face of the bat and opens his account. Good work from Ganguly, just back of a length again. He may have got an inside edge on that, but it's bold. Got this sussed out, Saurav Ganguly. 
pitch for medium pace and slow bowling ball straight England going along just dandy 111 for one and then 55 for five tell you what he's bowled sensibly Saurabh Ganguly playing making sure that the batsman plays him on the back foot it's not very easy to play on the back foot on the surface another single so after 29 168 for six England Anil Kumble reintroduced Graham Thorpe will pick up one and what started like a dream has turned out to be a bit of a nightmare for England batting been a bit expensive but two important wickets for him both men caught in the deep of Anil Kumble Andrew Flintoff and Treskotic were the men he picked up Saurav Ganguly enjoys bowling at Kanpur He's picked up five for 34 on this very ground. Bit of low bounce, trying to play across the line. But nice and straight, and it took the off stump. Kanpur, uh, happy hunting ground with the ball for Ganguly. He'll be disappointed with the line. Yet four men on the offside inside the circle, trying to save the one. An easy run gifted away on the leg side. Ben Hollyoak moves on to three. So they're compelled to be dependent on just the ones and twos. At one stage, they must have been looking for a total in around 250 or in excess with eight wickets in hand and more than six runs per over. At the end of that one, it's 175 for six. Anil <laughs> Kumble. Getting a direct hit. A couple of questions asked by the wicket keeper and the thrower himself. There's a safe run in the end. Good pick up and throw, but he was past the wicket. It was a good run. Kumble, not the quickest mover in the field, and maybe Ben Holyoke realizing that. And uh, that's not the hamstring, is it? And that stiffness that kept him out of the previous game, now coming into play because in a fabulous spell of his, he is now having to walk off. Now that's not good for India at all. He obviously had a stiffness which he felt had subsided and a lot of us didn't expect him to bowl and he was in like you say through in the midst of a fabulous spell and now problems for India Tendulkar will complete the over or picks up a single now the important point is was that a recurrence of that same injury that kept him out of the last match or is it an entirely new one? Ilkumble is the acting captain again. And if it's a recurrence of the injury that he sustained before Chennai, then the umpires will keep a close watch on all their decisions that they'll have to make, whether he deserves a runner when he comes out to bat, whether he's entitled for a substitute. One only, the moment he's got one, Sarandeep Singh is on the field. I don't think there should be a problem there, Sanjay, because he started the game perfectly all right. He bowled five overs and uh, obviously he has some sort of a hangover from that injury, but that shouldn't be coloring the minds of the umpires. It's not as though he was totally injured when he started the game, but it's obvious that he has a weakness in that hamstring area and it's not stood up to an eight over spell. And again, we're not sure whether it's that same injury that has recurred. He can always say that this is an entirely new one, which means he'll be entitled for a runner. Back up, back up. Been another good bowling job for India. Put in a good bowling performance at Chennai on a good batting pitch, restricting England to 217. And here again, 182 for six. 
reasonably fine batting pitch. The good finish of the Saurav Ganguly over by Tendulkar. 33 overs gone, England 182 for six. Srinath, right up there, goes up in appeal. Very much in line, maybe just pitching outside the leg stump. It's very, very difficult to get that LBW decision in your favor when you're bowling from over the wickets to a left-hander. If, it if it's going to hit, then invariably it pitches outside the leg stump. It's a close one, but enough to create the doubt in the minds of the umpire. And in the end, a good decision. Slow ball in the air for a while, just falling short of Sehwag. It's long gone. You can see the pressure now coming on the England batsman to get those big shots going. It's been a while since the last boundary. Yes, they're absolutely struggling to found the boundary. Just four overs to go now. It's run hard, Top. The one there. Thorpe has played his part very well up till now, Sanjay, but I think it's the onus is on him to get those boundaries now because he's set, he's the main batsman. He's on 25 from 34 deliveries. He got the singles when they were required. But now in these dying overs, he does need to find the fence. Should get four. Just at the right time for Ben Holyoke. Was looking to get those boundaries. And that one came with perhaps minimum risk. Slightly offline, uh, Srinath there. No fine leg, no deep fine leg, actually. Now that's a bad mistake because you can't afford to bowl outside the leg stump without a fine leg. Again, the slow ball, it's in the air and it's going straight down Virendra Sehwag's throat. They're trying to repeat the effort, Ben Holyoke. To be fair to him, the onus was on him to really get the big ones. So the slow one paying dividends for Srinath. He's been very, very impressive in this game. So that's the seventh wicket to fall. Holyoke departs. It's 197 for seven. Sachin Tendulkar. Jeremy Snape, the number nine batsman for England. Scored 38 in the last match. And really he is maybe the last batsman with some talent. Ben Holyoke was the last man to go. Again, not being able to control the shot on the slower one. Trying to check his shot in the end and only managing to chip it into the hands of Varendra Sehwag. But the Indians now really rushing through their overs. It is a lot of pressure in a shortened game to complete your over, especially when the opposition is losing wickets. Two minutes per wicket, they've lost seven, so 14 minutes down there. There's been a lot of adjustments on the side screen. Once again, I think he just hit it too well in the end. Straight into the hands of Sehwag. Just the one which brings up the 200 for England at a fair cost. They were looking very good when the ball was new and hard. But when it got a little older, it started coming off slower off the wicket, a little softer also. Not that easy to get away. They struggle. He looked for two, top. Harbhajan Singh has been good. The throw, even better. Yes, he's been pretty impressive on the field today. He's had some good pickups and throws. He's had a good time with the ball too. So I think that's pretty much going to be the pattern of the chase when India comes into bat. They're going to try and get as many with the new harder ball. Because when it gets older, it's going to prove pretty difficult to chase. At the end of that over, it's 202 for seven. That tells you the story. The sad story of England batting. 46, 43, 60, 72. The ball's just getting more and more for the runs. 
the batsman, just making sure that the Indian bowlers don't rush them through too much. Taken on the full. That's good cricket by Jeremy Snape. The moment he played it in that direction on, with Kumle in chase, it always sense that there would be an extra run to pick up. A good Yorker attempted there by Srinath. But very good running between the wickets. He's quick. He's really, really quick. He's terrific when he's fielding too. One of those rare, wrong line, slow balls by Srinath. And as you said, he's developed this art of slow ball, which is really the confidence that he's got in the last couple of years. Played the bulk of his career one day cricket without bowling, as you said, the bouncer or the slow ball. Once he's got that necessary confidence in himself to use the slow ball, brought him a lot of success. It's good bowling again. Balling, 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 balling. Yes, Srinath has really developed uh, as a bowler at the death. He's now very confident with his Yorkers, with his slow deliveries. A bit of a problem with the umpire. The umpire tapping the area which is very close or in the danger area. A bit of a caution for Srinath. <laughs> if you take a closer look, he was nowhere near it. Hasn't got the boundaries top, but uh, he's kept himself busy. And if you've been to Kanpur before, you've got to bear one thing in mind. It may look like a moderate total, but it's never easy chasing on this pitch. It gets lower and lower. And run making gets more and more difficult as the match progresses. Not very well directed, nor on length, but yet effective because of the change in pace. And of course, the batsman is relatively new at the crease. That's the leg cutter. That was, was intended to go towards mid-wicket. Goes to fine leg, maybe deceiving the fielder at uh, 45, Sachin Tendulkar there. Came to him very quickly. Yes, he must have sighted it a little late too, Sanjay, because that's not where it was intended to go. Yet very, very effective runs at this stage of the game. That was the boundary, much needed boundary from England's viewpoint. In fact, the first boundary for Graham Top. So he's now slightly disappointed. Hasn't given too many runs away. Given the charge, nearly missing the off stump there. It comes to the end of his spell of eight overs. It's 212 for seven. Tendulkar will bowl the last ball, the last over of the innings. Four men inside the circle. Himself oh, some room, Jeremy Snape. That's the one. I don't think Tendulkar is going to pitch it up unless he attempts the Yorker. The last over. There's a good chance this man might just open the innings for India. Gangali just leaving the field with an injury. River sweep. But again, just the one. Not giving too much pace to his deliveries, Sachin. So you really got to hit him, and it's keeping low, not coming off as fast as the batsman would like. Not very easy getting the runs. It hasn't proved that easy getting the runs in the last 10. Hit hard, straight to the fielder. Mohamed Kaif, fielder at long off. Incidentally, the 142nd here to play for India, making his one day debut today. Gone over the top. Uh, oh, not quite the timing that he would have liked, in fact, and that helped. 
Thorpe in getting the second run. Didn't go quickly enough to the field and a bit of a fumble there, helping matters. I think two runs were always on. That fumble just made it a little easier for the batsman. Two balls to go. Reverse sweep. Straight to the field, Ahem and Badani. A good bowling performance continues for India. Looking for the big shots, England. Just not getting them. Yes, at one stage it looked that 250 was on. They're ending up at short of 220. Just the last ball to be delivered. Thorpe, 36 of 43. Did a fair job, but in the end didn't quite find the boundaries. And now the last delivery of this innings. And nearly a wicket for Tendulkar. The 39 overs have been completed by India. England 218 for 7. A great comeback by India. Well, just about five and a half runs and over for uh, England. But I still think they may be slightly unhappy with that. 218 for 7. Nick Knight got them off to a good start. 74 he made. Graham Thorpe back in the side, a very good 36, but wickets falling all around him in those latter stages. Indian bowlers, they stuck to their task well. It was a good comeback. A couple of wickets for Harbhajan Singh, Kumble and Ganguly who had to leave the field. And a wicket for Srinath as well. It's the state of play then at the halfway stage. England 218 for 7 from their 39 overs. Knight 74, Thorpe 36. India requiring 219 to win. At, uh, that run rate will be uh, well up there right from the start. Hey. Darren Goff asking the question. And well, that's not the answer they were looking for. Standing keeper Marcus Descothic was down the leg side very, very sharply. Darren Goff is convinced he's hit it. The signal is wide. I tell you what, I thought that it might have hit the pads because the umpire is not giving it out. Let's have a closer look at it. Can't really make out from here. Treskothic looked very sure. Darren Goff looked very sure. I think it's hit the pad. Not too sure, David. Well, it's deflected off something, I'm sure. We'll let him off on the, uh, on the catch. But I know umpires are by right very, very quick to wide anything down the leg side. If bowlers stray genuinely, that's fair enough. Oh, it's very close to bat. It's very close to pad. Yes, David, it looks very, very close. And look at the appeal. Everybody there, Nasir Hussain, Darren Goff, Tresco Thick. That's the wicket they want. They really realize that this is the wicket if they get early. They'll have India in trouble. He's the man who can really explode Sachin Tendulkar. I'm sure England would have been very happy if that finger had been raised by Empire Mohite from Baroda. They'd have been absolutely delighted. And however they get him, they don't mind. Tendorka is always seen as the key. The more times I see it, the more I start to think there might just have been a light touch on that from the bat. That's close. England frustrated twice in two overs, it seems. Two good appeals. It's Sewe, of course, who is the batsman. Well, that was a good shout, that. Hit the pad. Now, that is very, very close. I would say Virendra Sehwag, very lucky still to be there. That's a superb delivery from Matthew Hogard. He's really impressed, though it's hit the knee roll. But I tell you what, he was right in front of the stumps. That's found the gap. It's well placed. Sewag off the mark with a boundary. 
What a superb timer of the ball within the Sehwag is. These two, once they get going, I tell you what, it'll be entertainment for 40,000 people sitting here in the crowd. Look at the gap he's found. This is what a good player is all about. He doesn't time the ball well, finds the gaps beautifully. Look at him opening the face of the bat. It's outside edge, it's over the top. Only got away with that very close call at the start of the over. Say we're already loosening up. Well, it is stand and deliver, isn't it? Sewag happy just to put his weight onto the front foot and take it all from there. Yes, but I see a distinct change in his stance. Because his head is falling ahead of his toes now. He started bending so much. That's why the man I've seen timing the ball brilliantly is not really getting in the meat of the blade. That's a good shot. Tendulkar also looking to come forward, looking to use the pace of the ball, and any little bit of width offered by these England bowlers is looking as though it's going to get punished. What a lovely timing that. He's hit the sweetest part of the blade there, Sachin Tendulkar. He's more upright than Virin Sehwag, more balanced. Lovely timing. Slow delivery, Tendulkar looked as though he was almost waiting for it no hesitation saw it from the hand he was seen i'm sure the off great action of darren goff and you can tell by the way he played it he was going with almost with the spin tell you what about sachin tendulka the better the bowler the better he bats the better the rhythm and the action of the bowler he reads the bowler better sachin tendulka just once more let's have a look at that first ball of the innings seen it as many times now as I think as we need and with a magnifying glass just a gentle kiss what a great shot that was beautifully timed no chance for Nasser Hussain at short extra cover to stop that one but these two I tell you if they get going the crowd here they are going to love it. Again, just that bit of width. Again on the up. Straight through Hussein. He's at short extra cover. But it was hit with tremendous power. Worked through the onside this time. Now you really have to concentrate to remember who's batting here because both men have the ability to manufacture strokes in a very similar style sure there are certain strokes when they play they look alike that's four maybe not Well, he made room for the shot. He's trying to create that space on the offside. It looked as though he'd really hit it well to start with, but has he or hasn't he got it just in the nick of time? He's got to release the ball. Close. Well, I think he's done well there. He saved a run for England. Michael Vaughan's shoulders should be nicely warmed up by now. I don't think Michael Vaughan's going to get that one. He's not even in the same county. Thirty-nine without loss now. I tell you, these two are batting to the crowd's delight. Any opportunity they've got of scoring runs, they've not missed. More runs here. 
sprint across the field isn't going to be enough from Paul Collingwood. Two men from Yorkshire, Darren Goff and Matthew Hoggart, striving at either end of this ground to keep things quiet. Both of them finding life very hard indeed. Now, the end of that last over. Another searing shot from Sachin Tendulkar. Well, they can match each other shot for shot. Verenda say why. Playing as if there is not a problem in the world. I hope they're not competing with each other in the middle. Virenda Sehwag and Sachin Tendulkar. Because if they are doing that, and the form that they are in, the bowlers are in trouble. They've been in trouble so far. Well, England, having seen what happens if you bowl slightly wide of Ostham, right at the start of this innings, have tried to bowl straight. Pitch and the new ball, the combination of the two is good enough that men of this class, Tendulkar and Sewag, have been able then, when the line has been adjusted, just to pick the ball up, play through the line, flick it over the onside. That's three shots in a row now that have gone very, very quickly to the leg side boundary. As the ball gets older, then the opportunities are going to be fewer to do this. So these two, they want to make full use of the new ball that is being bowled at them. They want to score as many runs as possible. They're going at 8.8 .8 and over at the moment. Well, they'll settle for one this time. England somehow will have to remember that they nearly pulled it off in Chennai after a similar sort of start from Tendulkar and Sewag. They've got to try and remember that a wicket can change everything very quickly. They've also got to remember how the England batsmen this morning found it harder as the ball got older. Beautifully played. Pure timing, pure elegance. Pure runs. Tell you what, the bowlers must be enjoying it as well. He's just screamed it to cover Sachin Tendulkar. What a lovely stroke. What a lovely timer of the ball Sachin Tendulkar is. And I think these two, when they're together, we're in the Sehwag and Sachin Tendulkar. They keep talking to each other, keep playing their strokes, doing pretty well together. And in common with everyone else, it's an appeal first ball. And in common with the previous two appeals, it's turned down. He's getting better. Believe me, he's bowled well in this series. He bowled well in the tests. He's bowled very well in the one day as here. There's that series here. Look at that economy rate here. 3.69, that's excellent. Well, he deserved a few more wickets. Just a single to Darren Goff. There it is, 2 for 51. Calcutta, tough 10 overs. 1 for 34 at Cuttack, another excellent performance. So then none for 27. Getting better and better. He's done a good job. Promoted up the order of the bat today. Got 18 from 19 balls. The bowling has been excellent. Well, that's just uh, clubbed away. And so I played that on the length. This is an absolute decimation of the England bowling attack. An unrelenting onslaught by the Indian batsman carrying the form from the last game, both Sehwag and Tendulkar. And he picks it up so beautifully. One off the last ball, six from the over, it's 59 without loss. Oh, 
Well, Ben Hollyo lost his run, tried the bowl and uh, went for four. Well, with the kind of form that Virendra Sehwag is in, this is a nicely wrapped gift for him. Now, was there an edge? Sounded like a noise. And the reactions of the bowler and a close infielder clearly suggested that. Oh, surely. Sort of an, what you wouldn't call a snake. Not one of the easy ones to take because there was a significant deflection. Single. Yeah, those, those really, in fairness, uh, doesn't matter how great a keeper you are. If it goes in, it's great. In this case, it almost went in. There's quite a big deflection there. Nearly got caught in that web. The webbing that the wicketkeeper gloves have between the index finger and the thumb. Nearly got caught there. Oh. Well, it's down there. All it needed was to be helped. That's exactly what Sachin Tendulkar has done. Helped himself to four more. England, some disarray. Andrew Flintoff. Now, hasn't quite got hold of it, so everybody's got hold of enough of it. Back to a boundary, and the carnage continues. It certainly does. Tendulkar going the aerial route this time. Playing it with the angle. It's a good thing he looked to play on the leg side. But the angle by the bowler was created early. It just went with the flow. Not easy to pick up those shots on a low pitch. You need to get to the pitch of the ball. Oh. I might think about two here. Making it quite comfortably. Feels changed. Tendulkar, there's a long on. And there's no one else on the leg side on the boundary. Long on and third man are the two men patrolling the boundary. The rest have to be inside the circle and two of them catching. There's a man on the drive on the offside. And there's a man at leg slip. Bye. Just for a moment, I thought the umpire might just call it wide because it was about a foot <laughs> outside the leg stump but went between the batsman and the stumps. But I've seen it being called wide by some umpires who stick to that rule irrespective of what happens. If the ball is a foot down the leg side, it's wide in my books. On that occasion, not called. Mohite doing the right thing, calling it byes. This field, and it's the best display from England. It's 77 without loss. And uh, there's some more. Four more. Zag moves on to 42 now from just 29 deliveries. The destruction continues destruction of the England bowling attack free swing of his arms didn't quite uh, bother coming into the line of the ball which helped with the free flow of the arm look at that follow through of the bat going right back after the ball was met he's really showing the full flair out here in Kanpo eight short of a 50 yes. no, that's four short of 50 now that's a better shot for me because he's given himself just a little bit of room and he's hit this on the up this is quality. And I think the shot of uh, Virendra Sehwag's innings. Just have a look at this. It's not completely over pitch. Hit on the up slightly. And hit along the ground. And uh, the pitch is not the quickest. And on a slow pitch to hit a spanking drive straight down the pitch. The fielder had no chance at mid-off. This is excellent cricket. Almost getting through. Slower ball. Receiving Sewag. He's picked them pretty well so far in this series. He has in the series. This one, I think, he didn't pick. 
got out on 51 in Chennai immediately after he got his 50. So I think that is exactly what Tendulkar was perhaps suggesting to Sehwag to just keep his cool, not to get carried away. It's the one. The ball's going this over. Maintaining that run rate, increasing it nine so far off this over. He's followed to the off spinner on a couple of occasions. There you mean Snape, Virendra Seva. Snape was the man who picked him in the last match. Nine from the over, 86 without loss. Well, that's the way to bring your 50 up. Smashed away over mid wicket. This is fifth 50. One day internationals. And I doubt if many have been quicker than this one. And he got a standing ovation from his players in the dressing room because they realize any score that is to be chased at Kanpur is never easy. But Virendra Sehwag has certainly made things simpler for the rest of the batsmen. 51 of 36 balls. Another gem of an innings from Virendra Sehwag. It's a good thing he's taking some time off. Marking his legs in guard. Still got a few things to do. Well, it's going to be four more. Drift into the legs, we pay the price. There you are. Captain injured, but very pleased. He's got the pads on, so he'll come out to bat. This is the range I was talking about. And it's just getting more and more painful. 12 from the over, it's 98 without loss. Uh, it's going for four, whether it's off the bat or the pad, I'm not quite sure. And Barr says it's the bat. England will have to make a change here. They, I think the man they've got to bring in is uh, Jeremy Snape. Take all the pace off the ball, Sanjay. And he was the bowler who actually picked up Sehwag and Tendulkar in the last match. Four more to India. Well, I reckon that came off the bat. Look at that run rate, nine. Well, ideally, you would have expected Jeremy Snape to come after the 11 overs, which is now, but maybe he was asked for the preference of ends. Maybe that's the reason is not brought on right away might just see him come to bowl from the pavilion end that's it beautifully played so is racing away here under 63 and it's a magnificent stroke play this is great timing because the ball's full almost yorker length still it races to the boundary this is fantastic stroke play, just opening the face, the bat. <laughs> How clever is that? Well, you've seen the drives. Time to show some fine sweeps. Premeditated shot and actually scooped it behind. Oh! Back me up, back me up. You won there. Looking at from outside the off stump.
amazing record. Approaching 11,000 runs. The internationals. 3,100s, 5450s. Average. Almost 44. Cut. Well, it's short. He just waited for it. Knew the mid on was in. Clever play. Didn't try and drag it towards mid wicket. But there is a fielder out, but hit it down the ground. Ian, you used the right word for that shot. It was a clever shot. Again, the bounce was very low. And normally, any batsman would have gone with the spin square on the onside. But he saw the mid on fielder, Andrew Flint, of one inside the circle. Very consciously played straight down the pitch. But another good boundary. Hey, no bounce at all. All dying. I think, uh, from England's point of view, they need more than that. They need wickets. A lot of them, and quickly. This pitch hasn't changed for the last 10 years. It's amazing how quickly the bounce dies at this pitch. If at all there's a pitch that needs to be relayed, it's the one here at Green Park. We saw what wonders the newly laid pitch at Bangalore did for cricket. The Green Park has stayed the same for the last... 10 12 years always been low slow once the ball gets soft virtually shoots to the batsman get it get it what i thought me it's interesting saying that because talking to a couple of groundsmen uh, in england they have a theory that uh, some of these wickets nowadays the amount of play they get on they only have a certain life uh, maybe eight maybe ten years before you have to relay them you have to keep cycling the square Uh, tossed up, full toss. It'll just be one. I tried to think how low this one would be uh, in a five day game. We've played a test match here, and it's always been the same case. Team batting first generally wins the match, and the match finishes quite quickly. We don't see the full distance of the test match. In the same arc will keep strike 15 overs gone by 125 for no wicket. Seawag has moved on to 80 from 60 deliveries. Tendulkar, junior partner. Still the shots being played when the chance is there. Whatever the fields, there have been excellent examples here of placement and judgment. Remember, England early on tried to maintain a similarly electric pace. It's got it straight to him. Well, it's the end of a wonderful partnership. And it's the end of Verenda Sayway. The blow has just sunk in. As far as the crowd are concerned, there was just that little moment of silence. Now the applause starts. Well, tactically, that's good work from England. The challenge was to hit over the top, mid on and mid off, inside the circle. Wonderful inning, Sayway 82, caught by Hoggard, 134 for one, India. Sarah Ganguly in at number three then. Unable to open the innings, having left the field during the England innings. But it hasn't been a problem at all for India. It's been all Saywag and Tendulkar. It's been a fabulous opening partnership of 134. And eventually for India Saywag, just not quite get holding a, getting hold of one as he might. Yeah, Carl, like it, Carl. So many times he'd hit it over mid on, over the infield in general, and uh, hit the middle of the bat and found the boundary for once with what seemed like a fabulous century in the offing has failed so Sawag gone for 82 from just 62 deliveries and the Indian captain will just try and keep things nudging along yeah, run it, make it run, make it run, yeah. he's off the mark and uh, sprinting back for two Now on, 
India can just coast if they want to. Get it, Nath, get that. A single for Sachin Tendulkar. But it's 11,000 runs in one day international cricket. A fantastic record. 284 matches he's played now. 54 times he's reached 50. 31 times he's reached 100. Look at that strike rate too, 86.5. He gets in, he scores quickly. 11,000 ahead of the rest. Going to be wided for that. Just too wide of leg stump. Asradin, Desmond Haynes, Mark Walk. Some terrific players there. Catch it. Placed away. Nice little high full toss. But placed beautifully. And already Sarah Ganguly showing signs he might carry on where the first wicket partnership left off. Well, he can certainly play Ganguly. He's been in wretched form. With 17 one-day hundreds to his name, he can definitely play, no doubt about that. Get it. An England plan would be to try to make Ganguly run. And that has been broadcast by Marcus Truscothic, keeping wicket, make him run, make him run. He'll also find the boundary. 18 centuries. He can play. Get it. Yeah, as career figures stack up, those are very good ones. 43 is average, nearly 44. Again, a good conversion of 50s and 100s. Good strike rate. And uh, most of those runs will have been made opening the innings in one-day cricket. Get it. One forty-five. Get it, Nas. Nice piece of work from Nasser Hussain. This is what I say, they're looking to make Ganguly run. There are six fielders now inside the circle. The challenge is to hit over the top. Not giving any singles away on the square. Catch it! Well, that's four. High shot. Ganguly might just have been trying to line him up for that. He certainly was. More of the same in terms of boundaries. That's the 23rd four Come in this Charlie, innings. Away, Head God. still. Just gets the ball straight of mid-off. Just to mid-off's left. Another superb shot. Takes Tendulkar through to 53. Takes India past the 150 mark as well for just the loss of the one wicket in this 21st over. Picked his spot there. Tendulkar just sat back. Where should I hit it? Straight, mid on. through to his 55th one-day international half-century and attempt it seems on carrying on 54 not out now strike rate is good he said that he was hardly noticed while Sewag took center stage but he's played supremely well again just proves how good an innings it was from Virenda Sewag
two shots from Tendulkar, just balls just short of a length from Snape, that he sat back and thought, where should I hit it? He hit it straight to mid on. A sane move the field straighter. His next ball, he just moved it square. Catch it! Ganguly angry is missed out there. 155 for one. Down. That's straight down the ground as well. Ganguly deliberately putting that front leg well out of the way. Allowing those arms to come through. Quite at home, coming forward against medium pace with a big stride. Left leg gets out of the way. Correction, right leg gets out of the way. Just gives him room to free his arms. It's very straight. Oh, yeah, Carl. Collingwood holding back with the delivery. Not holding back with the reaction. To see how far outside leg stump that front leg is. That's the one part of the technique which has allowed him really just to get the arms through the line of the ball, hit it on the up, and hit it with power. Get it, get it, Hulk. Well, that injury hasn't slowed him down at all. As I say, once again, full credit to Andrew Leapers. He repaired him in time for this match after he'd missed out at Chennai. He's repaired him again. The space for an hour and a half well just a mild criticism from me that he never ever runs that quickly in the field never and he's got pads on and a helmet but technically as you say down the ground to get his front leg out of the way aiming straight down the ground That's it. still the runs come Well, there's nothing in the air for Collingwood. The ball hasn't swung at all. There's definitely nothing in the pitch, and it's just medium pace. And if it's medium pace on a length, mid on and mid off inside the circle, Tendulkar, the classy Tendulkar, will just lift the ball over the top. Well, Ganguly with the confidence to do this to Darren Goff as well. Fast ball is now can ball a bouncer. Doubt whether they can get a bouncer up on this pitch. There he is, right leg out of the way again, driving down the ground, giving himself room. First instinct is to get outside leg stump and throw his front leg wide. Just gets his arms through, middle of the bat. Well, it's one of his grounds, this. Sarah Ganguly has taken wickets here before, he's made runs here before. He was having a good day with the ball when uh, he went off injured, but once again, that's the clearest angle you can get of how he gets the front leg out of the way. It's a real free swing of the arms that results from it. There's no extra bounce, nothing to worry him here. Well, a little bit of self-defence probably from Saurav Ganguly. Hussain, I have a feeling, might have politely asked whether the umpire agreed there might have been an obstruction of the field or a hand on the ball or whatever. Got the right answer. Paul Collingwood That's it. goes for four again. Supreme stuff from Sachin Tendulkar. Runs flowing at will from the bat of the little master. Nothing, it seems, that Nasser Hussain can do about it. Nothing that any of the England bowlers can do about it.
So four runs from the first ball of the 24th over. Now this was what happened at the end of the previous over. Sarov Ganguly could argue defending himself as the ball was thrown very hard by Nasser Hussain. He's got to get back into his ground. Now, if you willfully deflect the ball, get it. you can be in trouble. If you're defending yourself, you're not. I'll let um, Aaron Lal and Ian Botham debate the point. Indeed, David, it did appear that he was defending himself. And Hussein, I'm sure, was not really keen on that appeal. It was more a sort of an act in frustration. Because there's not a lot of answers that he has at the moment against these Indian batsmen. <laughs> Game beautifully timed. Just the one, though. Man out there. As you were saying, Aaron, I have to agree. It's, it's compelling stuff, isn't it? You sit and watch this man and Sewag, who I thought played uh, as well as I've seen him. Stroke selection was much better today, so I bet uh, he and Tendulkar just ripped England apart at the start, and really there was no way back for England after that. Absolutely, in effect, they almost took the game away, that opening partnership, 82 of just 62, and Sachin is there, 64 of 53, that is a wide delivery. So by the time Sehwag departed, he had almost taken the game away from England. Well, the two of them bat scored at uh, nine runs and over, which is pretty formidable for that length of time. 82 from just 62 balls. So Agenton Dolker, who seems very quiet, but he scored 64 from just 53. Yes, indeed, it looks as though things have quietened down, but not quite. 64 of 53 deliveries is good by any stretch of imagination. Now to win 44 of 89. And again, a fabulous hit straight down the ground. He's got such a beautiful swing of the bat, makes space for himself, withdraws, favours the offside a bit, likes to go over the top, around that mid-off area. Lovely shot. Give himself room to get the arms free, and the bat does the rest. A better shot, no run though, straight to Flintoff at, at pace. With only two men outside the 30-yard circle at third man in fine leg. Just pierce the field and you get a boundary. A little bit of footwork, this was the previous delivery which he hit for four. Slow ball. Cleverly bowled, and it turned. Well, it did appear that he's got some semblance of form back because he was striking the ball well. Just overplayed his hand a bit. Again, trying to make space for himself, wasn't there. Also moved away off the seam. So that was good delivery also. 26 for Ganguly, it's now 179 for two. Dinesh Mongia, the crease, the new batsman, who's been in good form. One day is the reason he's at the crease. Darren Goff bowled a slow ball. And watch it turn. Yes, it did turn. It was the off break. Deceived Ganguly completely. Ganguly was again trying to go over the top. Easy runs as far as he's concerned. Scoring at will. Mohammad Kef, his debut, he's the young boy from UP. This is his home ground. He's to come in next. Now, under these circumstances, I wonder if it would be a wise idea to send him in just in case they need just about 10 15 runs not a lot to gain apart from maybe he'll want to get out there won't he his own home crowd there he is 
Home crowd debut, you want to have some hand in it, even if it's just two or three not out, he won't, he won't mind, he can say he was there. Yes, and he'd probably want to get a little bit uh, of the feel of things. Yeah, at least two here, possibly three, Matthew Hollard's got a long, long chase. Such an Dalton made his mind up, he wanted three and got them. Very quick between the wickets, Sachin. The flick onto the onside, Hoggard with a lot of distance to cover, but keep your eyes riveted on Sachin. He knows he's got to come back to the danger area. And he does it with ease. Very, very quick between the wickets. Great acceleration in those thighs. It's just worked through the onside. Just waited for it. Everything was right there. Body position, knew exactly where he was hitting the ball and dispatched it. He moves on to 70. That was perfection. Not an easy shot to play. He's played on the rise, a little roll of the wrist. Great control on that shot. It was almost like a like a forehand top spin, but played beautifully. Great timing and placement. And uh, just to follow it up, I'll hit this one on the ground. Well, two fine strokes, both well executed. This is the first one. Just picked his spot and rolled the wristers. And I'm saying, from the second one here, and again, beautifully played. Absolute treat. Magnificent shots, both of them. The second one, even better than the first. Head over the ball. Great balance. Oh. Reverse swing. Good over, though. 12 from it. It's 192 for two. If you hold out to continue. Half an appeal. A lot of bat, though. Big inside edge onto the pads. Might have been uh, pretty close otherwise. Yes, it did appear to be on the stumps. Yes, that was a very obvious inside edge. Otherwise, it would have been a great shout. Might just have pitched that side leg as well, but uh, that would have been something the umpire would have had to make a decision on. But you don't need to when Almost comes off the middle of the bat. Beautifully timed. Just lent on it. Didn't try and hit it too hard. All timing. Yes, that was pure timing. And that face says it all. He didn't try and hit it hard at all. It was just caressed through the covers. Pure timing and placement. But the trick was, was leaning on the delivery, head in the right position, behind the line of the ball. Hoggard, that expression really describes it to the team. Well, I think he's just saying, well, you know, bowled it. Just a fine shot. It's the equation then. 23 to win. More than enough time. 69 deliveries. This match today just underlines the importance of an opening partnership, the way the Indians went about the total. If they had lost a couple of wickets early, then this, these very conditions become difficult to garner runs on. With the pressure of wickets falling, ball keeping low suddenly restricts the scoring and the flow of boundaries, but not so today. It's really important to have a good beginning to the innings and the boundaries Continue to flow. Again, soon to just a case of getting the bat on the ball. Just 19 to win. Very intimidating stroke play by the Indians today. This is going to put a lot of pressure on Nasser Hussain. 
he would have a certain amount of hangover from this kind of batting. He has to win the next two to level the series. It's now 200 for two. Justin Lindoka immediately said two as he played the shot. He is quite right. An easy two. Just look at the people. I mean, these guys, as you see as the picture pans out, you'll see they're across the road. There's not a seat to be had there. You think somebody's making money on that one? I'm sure. <laughs> Darren Goff. Maybe the odd slower one. Not too much difference. Get it. Sixteen more required. away for a single off the last ball it's 204 for two Jeremy Snape and then coming back into the attack make that nine 11 rather to win effortless Yes, he's just come in and fit into this run feast as though it's just tailor made for him. Then, uh, I beg your pardon, Dinesh Mongia. Snape is very, very slow, but not a lot of margin for error on this wicket. Slightly short would be punished quite easily, as we just saw. It's down the leg side, it's just been helped further down there for a single. I think most of us are pretty aware of the strategy that the Indians would follow. They would come out attacking the new ball while it's hard, while the restrictions are on. But none of us was quite prepared for what we saw today. Amazing display of batting, uninhibited and extremely successful. Very effective indeed. Demoralized the opposition and took the match away in the first 10, 12 overs itself. Pretty good to watch as well. And Volker's decided it's time for a cup of tea. Four down the ground, just six more required. And this, we have to say, has been annihilation. Yes, this really is an annihilation of the bowling. Will he close it with a six? And he does. That'll do. Well called. There we go. All the way. Now, according to me, that's the end of the game. The umpires and everyone are still out there, but I believe that it, you have won this game. There it is. And Lal called it. And that's exactly the way the game has ended. Dropped, but uh, about 20 yards over the rope. The game is all over. Sachin Tindalka. And they lead.